Hello dog lovers, welcome to Lance Power Empire K9. My name is Richard Mwanzia from Lands Power Empire K9. Uh, welcome to Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Uh, I started Lions Park Empire Kennel back in uh, 2020 during the COVID time. Uh, that's when I decided to do breeding because actually I was not moving around. So I decided to spend my time uh, at home breeding my dogs. I've been trying to do this uh, breeding for quite some time. But during the COVID time is when I decided to do the breeding because uh, people were indoors, everybody was just home, so I decided not to waste my time and to do what I, I, I would have loved to do for quite some time. Then there I was. I started with uh, one, one, one dog, then the rest uh, is history. Uh, I started with uh, these uh, house dogs, actually a Maltese, and then I found myself uh, interested in these uh, bigger breeds, the large dogs. Uh, currently in my kennel uh, I have like um, 12 dogs, uh, two Maltese, uh, one flat coat retriever, a uh, Labrador retriever, a uh, German Shepherd, of which it's not uh, actually pure, but it's a good dog. Uh, we have a boa bell, like these ones, and we have puppies, like this one. Uh, then I have a... Uh, Akita, the famous Akita Inu, and the Husky, Siberian Huskies. Uh, first and foremost, I love Akita Inu. They are very famous. They are said to be the most loyal dogs from the Achiko movie. Actually, mine is called uh, Achiko. It's an import. I uh, imported it with uh, some Siberian Huskies. It came from Germany. Uh, then I got the Siberian Huskies from Egypt. An Akitainu is a guard dog. Uh, it's a very well balanced dog. Uh, they are not actually difficult to train. They are very intelligent, very loving and very loyal. Uh, Akitainu they are originally from Japan. Uh, they are said to be the most loyal dog breeds. Uh, they are very good with the family. They have, they, have, they have a very balanced temperament. They are easy to train. They are loving. The huskies, uh, they are more of uh, companion dogs, uh, pets, that, so to say. Uh, they are not good with uh, guarding as compared to breeds like Boabel. They are Sometimes they are difficult to train. They need uh, someone who is active. Uh, for the boa bells, they are very nice dogs. As you can see, this cute puppy here. We have some for rehoming. They are very good dogs. They are very good, very energetic. Uh, in fact, uh, to me, I, I would say they are the best for guarding. And again, they are good for pets as well. They can be good uh, companions for you. They are very good with children. You, you, you have to socialize them properly. You must train them because uh, they are very big dogs. They are very energetic. They are dogs which need uh, proper training. In the morning, we start by cleaning. Then after cleaning, uh, we start preparing the food. That is cooking. I normally feed my dogs twice a day. So in the morning, uh, I feed them uh, uh, dry food, which is cables, uh, and in the evening I feed them uh, rice and chicken. And uh, at times when we have like puppies like now, uh, for the puppies I feed them like uh, thrice a day, at least thrice a day, uh, or even four times. For the lactating mothers, always we feed them uh, thrice a day, and maybe if we have a, a pregnant bitch, we feed it uh, thrice a day. After the feeding, in the morning we take our dogs for a walk when the weather is not that sunny and in the evening also we take them for walks. Uh, I normally socialize my dog mostly uh, by walks. I take them to walks and again people come here, I take them out, they socialize with them, they play with them. 
And again, even for them, for, for their own socialization, I take them out here. As you can see, there is some space. They can as well play around here. Okay, for the training with our dogs, we have done only obedience. Uh, you know, when you have, a, you have a, a dog, a pet, and you feel like you are stressed, you just take it out for a walk, you go. By the time you come back, you feel that you are okay. Uh, to me, I call them therapy, to me, because whenever I feel like I have stress or I need someone to talk to or I need to do something, I just go back to my dogs, I get one or two, then we go for a walk. Uh, again, they have uh, made me uh, actually meet uh, good people, uh, good friends, who are also dog lovers, and again, they have uh, helped me with bonding my family. Actually, I have a small daughter, and she loves dogs. And again, uh, her mother al always supports me with this. Uh, actually, there are challenges. Uh, first and foremost, uh, diseases. Uh, again, in dog breeding, uh, at times you may get a bitch, uh, you, you, it has given birth to a litter of maybe like uh, seven, ten or six, and at the end of the day you find yourself uh, having like two. So when you start uh, dog breeding, you should be prepared and ready for that. And again, uh, the other challenge, you may find that you need to go somewhere. And maybe there is a family meeting. Uh, you can't go to a family meeting while you have a, a nursing dog, by the way, or maybe a sick dog, so you should also be prepared for that. Uh, again, with the feeding, there is a challenge because of the financial economy. Uh, the food prices have gone high, and uh, you must feed your dogs uh, well. They must eat uh, good food uh, to keep their body fit. So you find that the prices are high, and again, you may fail to, to have a, a source where you can get uh, the food, especially the meat. Uh, for the vaccinations, uh, the challenge maybe is uh, you, you, uh, your dog might be due and the vet is not around and you can't vaccinate it by yourself. I would advise you get a vet who is uh, near you, somebody you can work together with, somebody you can trust and somebody who knows what they are doing because uh, Without the proper vaccination and deworming, you might end up losing your dogs. And again, ticks is also another problem because with the tick flu, you can also lose your dog. Uh, for the cleaning, we, uh, for the kennel, we always do it uh, every day in the morning. And again, when, uh, after feeding, when you take the, the dogs out, maybe to stretch themselves, when they mess up, you have to clean it. We, we spray pesticide at least uh, once a week. Uh, or maybe when there is an outbreak, we do it frequently, as much as we can. Uh, for the dogs like Husky, which uh, they have uh, longer fur, uh, they normally shed twice a year. They shed heavily twice a year. Uh, we brush them daily when they are shedding uh, and we wash them at least twice a month. Uh, for the dogs like uh, the Boabel, uh, we wash them at least once a month or again when they have gone out for our walks and maybe they have come in, we have to wash them if they are dirty, that is. Uh, I start reuming my dogs uh, at six weeks. Uh, that is when they, uh, I have vaccinated them uh, at least two vaccines, that is Pavo 1 and Pavo 2. Like this lovely boy here, we have a, a litter of these uh, guys here, this is a male. Uh, he is now currently six weeks and is ready for rehoming. For the market, uh, as per now, I have people that I work together with. Uh, maybe from my social media and from maybe uh, a client uh, referrals, from other clients referrals. I keep my dogs healthy by feeding them properly and again uh, vaccination. Like for the puppies, I start vaccinating them at uh, four weeks, 
that is first pavo they get the job then uh, at uh, after three weeks uh, i do again the pavo then after another three weeks i do dhlp then uh, at ar after dhlp again i do dhlp i repeat it uh, now with the rabies uh, and for the deworming for the puppies i deworm them uh, after every two weeks till they are three months then from there you can be doing it uh, once a month for the adult dogs now uh, i have to 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 vaccinate them again dhlp uh, pavo and rabies that is annually uh, for the adult dogs i deworm them uh, once a month or uh, i get a vaccine for them which goes for three months you know when your dog is uh, dewormed and vaccinated up to date uh, it, 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 it keeps the dog uh, healthy uh, free from diseases you find them they are very healthy breeding is not easy by the way uh, and if you are doing breeding for the money uh, you may end up being disappointed because uh, at times you get a bitch it has given a litter of maybe 10 puppies and you end up losing them uh, you should be ready to sacrifice your time uh, and to sacrifice your finances and you should be ready to spend time with your dogs uh, and when i say that i mean fully because uh, you have to make sure you have fed them properly maybe if there is a beach which is uh, lactating you should be ready uh, to spend sleepless nights looking after it and maybe walking them socializing them uh, and feeding them properly first and foremost uh, before you start uh, breeding you must be a dog lover you must be passionate of what you are doing because uh, breeding is not just mating dogs Breeding uh, and, uh, requires a lot, it's time consuming, and again even the finances may push you. So before you start breeding, you should know that it's time consuming, you should be ready to dedicate your time, your energy, and your finances to the dogs. You can't breed dogs when you don't love dogs and you don't have the passion. We have a lot of myths around, by the way, with people. Uh, like for the husky, they say they are wolf, of which they are totally different. Uh, you can't keep a wolf. Uh, they just look alike, but they are two different breeds, uh, two different things. Uh, and uh, some people say that uh, dogs like Boabel, Rottweilers, they, they run mad, they, Zinachizi, they run mad. There is nothing like that. Uh, to me, I tend to think that uh, that is uh, rabies. And any dog can get rabies if it's not uh, vaccinated or else properly vaccinated. Uh, if you, you want to reach me out, uh, you can get me via my number, where, which is uh, 0740 uh, You can call anytime, you can WhatsApp me anytime. And for the TikTok, is Lions Power Empire K9. Uh, on Facebook, it's Richard Mwanzia or uh, Lions Power Empire K9. Currently, we are having a very beautiful litter, a litter of six. Uh, from uh, this, our female here, they are all brindle. They are dewormed and vaccinated to date. Uh, currently, they are um, six uh, weeks now and they are ready for a new home. You can come and get one from Lions Power Empire K9. I'm going now to introduce you to some of my dogs. Uh, come and meet them. Uh, this is uh, Pretty. 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 She, she's a bit shy. She's a Siberian husky. Uh, and then here we have the famous uh, Akitainu from the uh, Hachiko movie. They are from, they are originally from Japan. She is a very nice female, very playful as you can see. Uh, she is currently two years now. Uh, she's an import by the way. 
uh, she came from Germany. Then uh, over here, uh, we have uh, a young female. Uh, she's called Binti. Uh, she has never been bred, uh, but now she's uh, on heat. She will be bred anytime soon from now. Uh, you can as well uh, get good uh, puppies from her, just like for, for th that other uh, boabel. Then here, uh, we have some Siberian husky. Uh, this one is a male. Uh, he's currently now six months. He's called Saucy. Uh, the name comes from Saucy eating. Kanakula uh, Sanaka. It eats a lot. Uh, then over here, we have uh, a male, Bob. Bob. Uh, he's an import. He's called Bob. Uh, one year old. Then from that far end, Aski, Aski, Aski. We have a very shy female. Uh, that one, she, uh, I, 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 I just call her Husky, uh, she's two years now, she's also an import uh, from Egypt. Then over here, uh, we have the Queen of Lions Power Empire, this is uh, the pride of our kennel, uh, she's currently now two years, she's called Malkia. Uh, She's the, the mother of those puppies that I've just shown you. And as you can see, it's a very nice brindle, very rare color. Uh, and she's well, very well balanced. Uh, then here we have a Labrador Retriever. Uh, she's also two years old. Uh, she's, called, she, she's called Snow. Uh, and we have uh, only one puppy from Halita. The rest have found a new home. Hopefully, that other guy will find a new home. And here we have uh, Cosmo. This is a German Shepherd mix. Uh, Cosmo, Cosmo. She is now 14 months uh, and she has never been bred. Uh, and this is purposely for security. For security, the mixed breed they are very good with security. Then over here, uh, we have a Maltese. This one over here. Uh, this is the only small breeds that I have. Uh, I love big bones, uh, but for the for these ones, uh, I have uh, this one. She is called uh, Dot. Uh, she is now 18 months. Uh, she has given birth once, and she is very playful and very nice. She is called Dot because of this Dot. Then over here uh, is a Labrador. Uh, he was one of the puppies from Snow. There were seven of them. The rest got uh, new homes, uh, and hopefully you will come and get this one to get a new forever loving home. Then here, we have, uh, this one is called a uh, flat coat uh, retriever. Uh, it looks like uh, the golden retriever, but uh, she's black. She's currently now two years. She has never been bred. Continue watching Dog TV Kenya. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. For more content like this one, for the dog lovers. Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel ever for all dog lovers.